you want to sing it? No, you've got to help me out. Yeah. I'll help you out, we'll sing it together. Come on, yeah. then. Come on then. Right. Three, two, one. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's the Yes, yeah. If you want to, but you don't ask questions, well, brother, I'm your man. What is the BBC Archive? BBC Archive is where the BBC have been storing all of the BBC content that's deemed worthwhile for future generations. And this research project about theme music is it, helping to digitise the archive, how? Well, one of the things we're looking to do is unique and novel ways in which we can actually open up the archive. So one of the avenues we're exploring is, could mood be a, a good way to classify all the programmes that are within the archive? So I might go onto the archive and say, I want to, I, I'm, I'm feeling like a pickup, so I'll go and find a, a happy program and it'll give me a list of happy programs to find it that could be one of the the ways in which people search it or it could be perhaps that you put in a program that you like and we sort of try and analyze the mood within that program and base some recommendations for you on that program so it's a bit like some of those recommendations you see online for, from places like amazon or last fm where you it tells you what else you might like given something else you've already heard yeah that could be one of the possibilities of ways that people could search this in the future yeah what we're trying to do is we're trying to work out the mood of a theme tune uh, so that people can browse through the archives. And we're looking at a theme tune, but looking at it from the computational sense. We're trying to analyse the music uh, and trying to extract features from it and trying to correlate that with the mood that people perceive. So in the end, you're going to try and actually get a computer to do the task that the humans are currently doing online in this experiment? That's what we're hoping towards, yeah. And is that because there's just far too much information to be done by humans? Uh, yeah, I mean, the BBC Archive currently stands at, I think it's around 650,000 hours worth of video, about 350,000 hours worth of audio. So that's about a million, million items that are in there. So in order to get somebody to go through that would be an absolutely mammoth task. So we're trying to see if we can get computers to do this, to try and ease the burden a bit.